Yes, we reviewed your E scales. First string. Major and minor. Second string, E5 to B12. Down on the second string, up on the first. Reverse it. And repeat in the minor. Minor has a flat three, a flat six, and a flat seven. Um, then we reviewed the open blue scale, most important of all. Remind you to bend the first string, bend the second string, and play the open first string or the first string with your pinky. Bend the G string and bend the open B string. Then repeat it here. The other most important E scale. No pinky at the top. Same bend. Unison. Pinky. G string, unison, pinky. Then we do the three octave E minor pentatonic. E minor active, sorry. Always with one slide and one hammer on. Now substitute your middle finger there. E12, E9, E7, open E, and then we review the major active because it was part of the, the debris song. Patch with your first finger, which is a static patch on top of the active scale. And the debris riffs were all based on that. It was like or something, I can't remember the rhythm. And then some little slides up here. Kind of basic stuff. And then there was a cool thing that went like, um, how did that one go? It was, uh, it's, it's all on your tab, but it was like, and it was like, listen to the song and use your tab and you'll find the right notes. Uh, and then the Tin Pan Alley song I liked because the groove is kind of fun. Um, and I tried a bunch of different versions. I did a G major 7 like this, which is a nice voicing. But then the C had a higher voicing up here, so I wanted to change to the C. So I changed to this G major 7, but I don't want the pinky to be a high voice, I want the middle finger to be a high voice. So it's down, up, down, up, whoops, down, up, down, up. That's it for this week, brother. Oh, wait, nope. Also for the Faces song, I, I remind you how to play a chord scale in E. Major, minor, minor, major, major, minor. But I pointed out that to emulate an open E tuning, you can play every chord with the first two strings open. So the minors look like this, G sharp minor. And then the majors are the F shapes with the open high E. Back to minor, so six, five. This is very useful and always sounds pretty. You want to just improvise an E. And if Kat knows like an E major scale, I'm sure she knows a bunch of them. You could just improvise with this while she just jams on the violin uh, potentially. See you, brother. Have fun.